Egg freezing is one of the newer technologies that are available to preserve female fertility. It's relatively new. We've been able to freeze sperm and freeze embryos for well over 20 years. But since 2001, the technology to freeze oocytes has really come into its own. Egg survival rates after the freezing thawing process now approach 90%. Prior to 2001, it was closer to 10 to 15%. The reason that egg freezing has been a issue is that the egg is a unique type of cell. It's the largest cell in the body and has the largest amount of water. And when you're freezing a cell type, whether it's an embryo or whether it's sperm, it's really the movement of water across the cell membrane that's the problem. The egg, since it's the largest and has the largest amount of water and a very delicate spindle apparatus that helps the chromosomes segregate, is susceptible to a lot of damage during the freezing process. But in 2001, the research allowed us to use specific cryoprotectants or substances that displace water inside the cell and allow the water to come out of the cell without forming ice crystals that'll damage the cell type. When you go about freezing an egg, remember it's the movement of water across the cell membrane. And there are two technologies that are out there that are very good at doing this. The first technique, and this has resulted in the majority of babies born worldwide from egg freezing, and that's about a thousand babies worldwide, is slow freeze. This is the technology that's been there the longest, and it's a very clever stepwise reduction in temperature of the oocyte, giving the water a chance to leave and the cryoprotectant to enter. There's a newer technology that seems to be just as effective, and that's oocyte vitrification, where we take the egg and we snap freeze it. So instantly, the, the water molecules will be shifted out and replaced with a cryoprotectant. And this technology more than likely will supersede slow freezing over the next decade. But both technologies are very reliable and will be used for a long time. Egg freezing is essentially an IVF process. An IVF process is a medical and surgical approach to conception. The medical part of IVF requires a series of injected fertility medication over the course of about two weeks. These injections are taken under the skin and are very easy to administer. During that period of time, you have serial blood tests and ultrasonography to make sure that the eggs are growing properly. At the end of the process, a minor surgical procedure is done under anesthesia to harvest all the eggs. Now, where egg freezing is different from an IVF cycle is at that point, instead of fertilizing those eggs, we're going to take those eggs and freeze them so that they can be preserved for future use. The success rate of egg freezing depends on a number of variables. And before the process starts, it's going to be important to determine the quality of your eggs. And how do we get the quality of your eggs? There's two ways to get that information very accurately. One is an ultrasound to take a look at the size of the ovaries. The ovaries, if you will, are the warehouse of your eggs. So by measuring their size, we can get a quantitative evaluation of your ovarian reserve. Then, on the second or third day of the menstrual cycle, it's an opportunity to measure important reproductive hormones, like follicle-stimulating hormone and estradiol, in addition to other hormones. But those two hormones in particular will give me a qualitative evaluation of your ovarian reserve. And by putting your quantitative and qualitative tests together, I can get a nice comprehensive look at how healthy your eggs are and what your expected success rate should be with egg freezing. All success rate, once we've determined the health of your eggs, also depends on your age. The older you are, the less likely oocyte cryopreservation is to work. But if you're between the ages of 35 and 40, then oocyte cryopreservation gives you a very good chance of preserving your fertility. Above the age of 40, between 40 to 42, it diminishes somewhat. And above the age of 42, you really need to speak to your uh, primary care physician and get a better handle on what the health of your eggs are before you proceed with this intervention. At RMA, we are excited to offer this technology for two reasons. In younger patients who may have, unfortunately, been diagnosed with cancer or other malignancies, it's an option to preserve their fertility, get them through this difficult period in their lives with some reassurance that they will be able to start their family after they get through their disease and when they're ready. Also, for young women who are not ready to conceive, it's an option that's been proven and has a high success rate that will allow us to give them the opportunity to freeze their eggs for future use.